Hello everybody, uh, how are you? I'm Dipali Kanza Kripya Nyu. I'm just uh, introducing myself uh, that um, this is my channel. I create video on paper cutting, paper crafting, paper folding, uh, paper toys, paper model, paper, <laughs> all about paper. So I have around 114 videos on my channel till now and uh, almost i'm going to complete 3000 subscribers uh, this i mean hopefully soon <laughs> by next week uh, so um, i hope i mean you should check out my video uh, videos so before starting this live demo uh, so uh, so every friday i, I share live uh, demo video and also i take queries from my subscribers and viewers whoever asks the com uh, queries in the comments on my videos I take those queries and I work on those and I share uh, answers about that in my live sessions. So that is the purpose of my live demos. So, so yeah, you should check out my other videos, all my playlist on paper folding, paper uh, cutting. So for every uh, topic uh, about this uh, paper art, uh, I have a, a playlist created. So you should check out. And if you like those uh, my work, please subscribe to my channel and uh, comment on my videos if you have any queries suggestions so uh, yeah so today uh, let's start so today what i'm going to show is so last week uh, one of my viewer or subscriber asked me uh, how i can make this kind of you no know, balloon uh, folding so i made it for her uh, so i'm going to share that how to make it uh, right now so it's specially uh, for her <laughs> Uh, the first part of the live session will be uh, especially for her so i'll just quickly show you i'm not sharing her name um, so i'll just quickly share uh, so she contacted me it should be uh, it's not from india it's from some other country so she said that you no know, she you so she like she would like to make this little balloon she has the had the reference and she would like to make it with her daughter so actually that's so sweet so i i thought like i definitely want to work on this and uh, so i'll quickly share that uh, so this is the reference that she shared so these are this looks like balloon and how to make it she uh, first asked whether i have a tutorial for this on my channel so there so there is no tutorial on this so she kind of requested me to make it so i so today's live session is first part of it just i'm going to uh, make uh, about that how to make the bal that balloon by paper folding and um, so i'll it will be my own style I, i'm not sure whether uh, how that reference is uh, they made it exactly but whoever made it i don't know who made it but i'm definitely going to give a solution for you uh, this way you can make uh, I'm sure this will be simpler uh, and easy to uh, make so I'll share that with you right now so I have this uh, another second camera ready so I'll quickly share I mean right now I'll share that with you um, so whoever if you uh, are interested to learn this paper balloon uh, watch this entire video um, so let's get started I'll also share a small paper cutting at the end of the video it's just a small paper cutting so hopefully you stay till the end of this video and ask me any questions i'll respond to those okay so yeah sure so uh, i will switch off that window and uh, this is so you can see right so this is the a4 size sheet i have taken okay this is recycled paper okay so what i'm going to do is to make this balloon okay i'll just keep it here first i'm going to um, divide this paper into half and basically i'm going to make around 16 parts first and then divide this paper into four parts this way If I'm folding too fast, please slow down the video and watch it. And if you find this video a little slower, you can increase the speed. So there is YouTube gives the option for that. You can, I'm sure you will know, you must be knowing it. 
so i'm going to divide so what i did here is so there are three creases right i divided with this along uh, by taking this uh, reference of this crease line over here and i'm folding it over here and then there is this one crease line and then here second so so align this corner of the paper to the second line in order to make fold here right here okay now from other side i will repeat the same process i make a fold over here and then one two one two as in this section and this section okay one two so align it over here and fold it now we got one two three four five six seven eight folds then i divide again into this double 8 to 16 1 to so i already have this uh, folding in most of my videos so this is like basic folding for it's a linear fold that i'm doing so it's a basic uh, uh, you no know, origami for paper folding technique so so i just i'm just showing it so that you know you will understand uh, from step by step since it is a live demo it's, it just allows me to uh, go uh, deep and without avoiding any screen any step so hopefully it will be helpful if you have any suggestion about it just uh, let me know one two And then one two so this section this section okay leave this line then i see here see one and two here oh sorry one two Just a second, I got just confused because it's not visible. One, one, two. One, two. Okay. One, two. now i got i'm just uh, uh, ignore about these lines here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay so now these are all i made uh, valley folds okay so these are the valley folds i did so now i'm going to flip the paper and then again i'm going to do valley fold from reverse side basically i want valley and mountain like this right you can see okay so that's why i flip uh, the other side and then i'm folding it right now so again you divide the 16 part into 32 parts one two One, two, one, two, 
quanto Modo. There is another method to divide this paper this way, uh, you know, little differently. But uh, no, as per my experience, this is the uh, this way is kind of you know it gives you perfect partitions of like thirty two parts yeah. equal thirty two parts. Okay, so that's why I prefer this. We can also try other one. That I can show me maybe later. But I already shown in my other videos, so you can check out. For this, I think you just follow uh, along with me to make this balloon, okay? So now I'm dividing from other side, okay? Because this half part is done. Now this part I'm covering one, okay? This I divided this one part, okay? One piece. So basically, you divide the double size of, okay? Double size of this two times, okay? Yeah. So. I unfold it from this line so this is open one two okay one two Who are watching it right now? Just comment and tell me if the video quality is good. Uh, or you know, I I think it's good. It looks good to me. But you just let me know if it is not uh, good. It's pixelated or something. And also, if my mi microphone is working, I tested it before coming. Before coming live, I was like I was setting up it for one hour continuously. So I hope <laughs> it's good. But I'm kind of confident that it will be good only. One, two. Okay, so I divided this into 32 parts. Okay. So, so it's pretty easy to just fold it like this right now. Okay, for fan, to make a fan also, you may make this way, right? okay this way you can fold it so but before that there is one important step that you have to do now once you divide this paper into 32 parts just fold this paper vertically okay this paper vertically into half okay the other side <coughs> we were folding this way now you divide this paper into two parts like this and just corners carefully So basically this in paper folding to achieve a perfection you have to you know follow math. So you have to follow exact corner to corner sizes and measurements everything. So geometry. So yeah so it's done. I divided paper into half right now. I'm going to also divide this paper slightly over here. I'll I'm so okay. So this is, I have this, this is a half inch, but I'm not, okay, I'll just take half, uh, just a one, one centimeter I fold, okay, I'm taking a one centimeter reference over here, basically I get reference from this cutting mat, so, so I take one centimeter size here and then I'm folding it, okay. So I'll tell you the reason why I'm doing this later. Okay, one side is done. Now the other side I'm folding. I'm just folding half centimeter. You can fold either less or more or it doesn't matter. 
but it should be foldable paper right i mean it should not be very thin also and very thick also so okay so it's done again i'll refold it okay so why i did this i'll tell you right now okay so if i keep this paper this way i right, does just one it's just so thin when i make it fold it it becomes double so that means it becomes more strong so so when i make this balloon i fold it inside this paper so this area becomes thick and strong if i just make uh, keep it like just like this then it just a uh, weak and it will be difficult to paste over here right or also if you want to make it make it stand right you can see right so it's it stays but if it's just a normal this thin paper over here it won't stay unless and until the paper is thick but if the paper is thick you won't be able to fold it right so this is um, i think around 120 j or oh, sorry 100 jsm paper a4 size you can take until uh, up to 120 jsm it's fine so now it's done so this folds inside half fold and then now i'm going to fold here valley fold mountain fold valley fold mountain fold valley fold mountain fold like that just this way alternately and folding the linear fold over here guys if you are watching in replays not in live session please share your comments again if you have any query regarding this demo or if you have specific requests just uh, comment or um, contact me on instagram or facebook uh, messaging or my email id hello at the rate dipalikaranjavkar.com so gabby uh, my viewer or subscriber she requested uh, me on my first she messaged me commented on my video uh, and uh, then she contacted me on my instagram so that we i i really hope that you will also contact me uh, feel free to con share, you know ask anything about paper art so i will be definitely answering so what i did here right now i will explain i was just talking okay so this section that you see here i'm separating it out okay see like this i just separated it out and i'm holding it together okay like this and slowly slowly you just follow this tape slowly i'm opening and pressing here opening and pressing so that it's it just opens up to a particular angle okay okay so you can at least you can make it up to 190 degree here it's still not 190 degree so I'll, i'm trying to do that okay so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm taking at least like five five uh, leaves and then just pulling it up taking another five pulling it up and taking another five and pulling it up. okay if this paper was a uh, little more soft and little thin i think i would have been like more it would come out more maybe but uh, yeah this way
now you can see you get that form right the form that you see in the references so now next step is i'm going to join this side this corner to this okay like this so first i'm just going to paste it and then i'll explain the next step so now you can see the pattern over here Uh, another way there is another way to do it uh, manually as in i'm also doing manually but uh, with the drawing you can if you want more straighter you just maybe you just have to draw and then crease uh, you know and then you can fold it but i think this is the easier way to do it without taking any extra tool that's why i'm showing it so i try to show what's the uh, most easiest step or doable step Uh, in lesser time so this i had taken the glue i am using white adhesive any glue is fine just i'm just putting it over here now i'm going to paste it over here just i'm locking this into this pocket first okay and then i'm going to paste it no need to lock you just can uh, paste it like that also but i just my habit <laughs> to uh, do with perfection so and this is another pocket that i'm going to insert over here and then just pull it so, so that you make it straighter oh okay make sure you align this line and this corner here so that you don't lose those crease and grid <coughs> crease guidelines okay yeah so this is done you can put inside hand inside and then just you know, make sure the paper is properly uh, pasted this side and then now i'm going going to secure the folds again okay i'm refolding fold i'm sharpening the folds over here so that you know i get it properly just simple just done now we what you have to do is just collect all the pleats together okay so you hold it here with one hand and then just pull if something is like hap no it's like this just pull the pleat pull the pleat so that it just rearranges itself and then this one so i hope uh, gabby this is the answer to your query you can definitely show this to make this with your uh, daughter little daughter i i would like to know how old she is if you are watching this just comment and let me know you can just share that uh, on my instagram also if you want to do it you now per private message you can do it so now see it's done al already right as i said if you want to want more straighter you need to make this angle this triangle triangular part i'll show here okay here 
it's more like till here like this so you whether you have to you have, maybe you can draw and make the you know sharp crease on it uh and then fold it so it will become more but so in that way you will not get like puffed kind of uh, you know uh, <laughs> balloon it will be like more straighter but this but if you want like more uh you know um, disc like you know little like this uh so you can actually so don't take 90 degree angle when you actually detach uh, two corners separately you just maybe make uh, 40 or 30 percent just play with it but i think this is the uh, guideline for you to make the balloon that you the reference that you shared the query that you had uh, so this is the solution for it i hope you liked it so yeah next step i'll quickly tell you that what you can do is so this is opening right here so what you do is just take the glue if you have glue gun it's fine you can instantly you can stick it but uh, since i'm using white glue right now so i'm just putting glue over here and secure this area with this small uh, don't worry about this fold you can after this you know you can uh, anyways sharpen it and refold it slightly you can just put at the corner okay oops just okay okay what is happening is just okay okay it's fine now take another side put glue first make sure the glue uh is put all for all the plate and then you put or uh, secure it with the some rubber band okay or just keep holding it for maybe 10 minutes it will dry it's better to use a uh, glue gun if you have otherwise you can use this follow this just keep it aside so i did the same way this one and you will see uh, the folds over here right this marks so you just have to sharpen it so it becomes straight okay so wherever you see little you know you just sharpen it since uh, this this paper is little soft so it's uh, very easily uh, it's taking you know uh, any shape i mean so so just sharpen it and then it will be like it will give you more straighter look and very beautiful you can use any color papers uh, you can draw paint and then refold or take color papers sparkle lay sparkle on it you can try various options definitely and i would love to see if you make this one uh, by yourself uh, i would love to see your variations and you can share that with me on instagram uh, on my uh, no direct message and i just tell me if like if you have made it just comment that you know you made it you tried it and you liked it uh, i hope you liked it um do share your comments i would love to know <laughs> okay uh, yeah so now next i'm going to start a small paper cutting here um let me just see if my camera another camera is working or not okay i'm going to quickly just to give me one half 30 minute 30 seconds Second, second. Transform. Where is it? So I'm just. So there is another camera here attached over here. Let me show it's working. Yeah, it's working here. So and then 
this goes like this I hope you can see sorry that I'm rearranging during the live but I really have to do it so that you know you will get the proper view I just remove my video for some time then you can see the full view right okay so this so in, uh, I decided that I'll uh, make a paper cutting in my upcoming live video so today I am going to do one live uh, session on paper cutting so I'll quickly show how I started right now this um, okay I have this toolbox and I have lots of things in this related to paper art and about oh, all the work that I do regarding crafting so I'll show you one day on my live session about this also so, so let me know if you would like to see in fact, one of my subscribers told me that she would like to, you know, he or she like would like to see, uh, you know, what I have in my uh, toolbox. So today, in I'm just going to uh, show how I started. So first of all, I always check that you know if my blades are sharp or not. This one, this one I used for, you know long time so i'm going to remove this piece i'm keeping it aside uh, with a safer safer place covered in a paper then which i will discard it later so i have this uh, very comfortable uh, kind of ergonomic design of a uh, you know paper cutting tool i'll just rotate this uh, second okay right so first I usually have a, a drawing ready but today I decided no I will draw uh, just without any reference and just uh, no optically I'll decide the design and do it so I'll start with the my favorite shape the leaf shape since this is like my first live demo uh, no after long time I just starting with the so smaller thing So if you are watching in replays, you can definitely uh, you know, increase the speed and quickly you can see the next output that you can definitely do. But right now since I am on live, um, I hope you stay with me, otherwise it's fine, you can watch later when it's completely ready to watch. So when you start paper cutting, you either take a reference. Um, you can take a drawing with the uh, tracing paper or just a white paper print on it I have a video on uh, uh, flower of life paper cutting in that uh, video I have given 
very clearly the step by step also there is a diagram for a uh, paper flower of life video you can check out in my videos uh, paper cutting playlist that is along with the ready diagram that you can actually use you know by superimposing on another paper the main main paper this is the main paper and there is white print on it you secure them together and then you can cut it along the lines that is mentioned shown on the diagram so that way also you can do I'm going to stop this video in next five minutes and uh, after once I complete this piece I will share that with you in my community post and also on Instagram stories so since you no, know, I have to stop this uh, live stream by 8 o'clock so I'm going to do that if you have any question right now any comments please comment in my comment section i'll read it later right now i cannot see it because i kept it off or maybe it just um i don't know if maybe the commenting is off right now while during live session i'll check that later anyways i'll know that later if it is like that i'll definitely next time i'll make sure that you know uh, it's correct So this is my first testing video with multiple videos right so next video i'll be definitely improving it if there is some improvement that i have to make so this is kind of a testing of you no know, how i can make it better their live demos for you you know i mean the camera angles uh, how i place the paper while i'm cutting how if I can you know how I can take care of uh, how if you can see it clearly or not like that so I'm using OBS streaming software and there is OBS dot ninja for my mobile streaming from my mobile streaming okay so you can definitely check out if you are a youtuber another youtuber it will help you if you are planning to do a multiple webcasting for your demo sessions or workshops online workshops so guys just feel free to ask me any or uh, anything about paper art and uh, youtube videos i'll definitely answer so i usually share uh, no, my personal uh, explorations and projects I do not share anything uh, about my professional uh, project even though if something is going on uh, in the background uh, so those will be always will be under the wrap until it publishes until the other party allows me to share it so I will do that so there is there there is some project is going on uh, so I'll definitely keep it under wrap for now so on YouTube I always share my personal projects and published one once if I get the approval to share if it is professional projects with some other client okay so two minutes to go guys uh, I'll stop this in some time so just check out all my playlist and videos and let me know uh, I'll complete this uh, no this piece I'll 
I'll, I'll give you a surprise what it will be and uh, just subscribe me comment on my videos if you have any queries and if you have please suggestions please share and to improve so that i can improve right and uh, i can definitely come with more interesting videos and uh, please keep hope and trust on me <laughs> so thank you so much for watching till the end and uh, see you uh, in on next friday but during uh, this to today is friday and next friday during this period there is one video is up upcoming so which is on monday so definitely watch it give a like and comment at comment <laughs> if you like please and uh, yeah thank you so much and bye bye take care